Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video I will show you how we can save additional information for your user profiles so your users will be able to have a profile image that will be displayed in that gray image view here and they will be able to choose a username for their profile. So as you can see I extended that layout from the last video a little bit that we can now update our profile and you can get the source code for that XML and for that project here of course from my GitHub repository Link is in the description. And I also assume that you included the dependencies for Firebase Auth already and the coroutine dependencies for Firebase and in general. If you have done all that, jump back into main activity and we can write our function to update a user profile with that additional information. That will be a private function, update profile, doesn't take any parameters. First of all, we want to get with our auth object the current user and check if it is currently logged in. So check if it is not equal to null. And if it, if it is not equal to null, then we want to update its profile information with a new profile image and a new profile username. So we can get the username that he entered by writing val username. And we get it from etusername.text.toString. And for the image, I included my logo in my drawable folder. So that is just the easiest way to include an image here. You can of course write your own functionality to let the user choose his own image from his gallery. But this is not part of Firebase and not part of this video. I just want to show you how you can choose a profile image and save it to your Firebase users um, account. So in my case, I just get the photo URI from yuri.parse and because that is an image from my resources we have to provide that as a string by writing android.resource colon double slash here we have to provide our package name and another slash and here we have to provide the resource id of our image in my case that's r.drawable.logo black square so whenever you want to get a yuri from your Android's resources, that is the format you have to apply to that. So you have android.resource followed by your package name, followed by the resource ID of that image. And to actually apply that username and photo you issue our Firebase user, we need to create a variable profile updates, and that will be a user profile change request dot builder. So we have a typical builder pattern here with which we can set the display name so that is the username in this case you could also choose your real name of course and set it to our username and we also want to set the photo URI to our own photo URI here and call that build afterwards and to actually update our user profile with that profile updates variable now we need to launch a new coroutine in IO Dispatcher because that is an asynchronous operation again. So let's do that. Coroutine scope dispatches.io.launch. And in here, we want to wrap that in a try and catch block again, just as we did it for registration and login. So in case something goes wrong, we want to notify the user about that. So in the catch block, we want to switch the coroutine context to the main dispatcher because otherwise we can't access UI components or can't show a toast, what I want to do here. So let's make a toast here, toast.make text, this at main activity and print the error message. Choose toast.length long and call that show. And in the actual try block, we will now call it, which is our current user from our let block, so we could actually give this a name user and call this user for readability. And we can call user.updateProfile and you can see that takes a user profile change request which we created above here. So we can simply pass our profile updates and call that await after that because we're inside of a coroutine. And to also notify the user about a successful profile update, we can copy that with context block paste it after our update profile function and don't print the error message of course instead we want to display successfully updated user profile and if we now scroll up to our onCreate function 
The first thing we want to remove is that sign out, of course, because we want our user to stay logged in even if we close the app. Then I will add an on-click listener to our button update profile. So that button that should be clicked when we want to update our profile, of course, and set an on-click listener to that and simply call update profile, the function we just created. And now only one more thing we need to do here is to update the UI when we start the activity so that we actually see our current profile image and the username. So let's scroll down to our check log in state function. And here I will actually save that user in a variable for readability. Um, well, user is equal to auth.current user. We place this with user. And in the else block, so in case we are currently logged in, we want to set the text of our ET username to our user dot display name. So our username. And we also want to set our image view. So IV profile picture dot set image URI to our um, user dot photo URL. And when we now call that check log in state function in our update profile function, in case we updated our profile successfully, so inside of this with context block, um, if we call check locked in state here, then we should automatically update our image view and our edit text when we click on that update profile button. So let's actually try that out and run our app, see if it is working. There we go. Currently, you can see I am already logged in. If you're not logged in, then you have to do that, of course. And our image view is currently empty and our ET username is also empty. But if I choose a username here, Android devs, and click on update profile, it should also update our user profile because I chose the image from our app's resources. So let's do that and see what happens. There we go, successfully updated user profile. The image is set successfully. And even if we rerun our app, then we are already logged in and it will automatically set the image view and our username text. If you understood everything well, then please let me know that in the comments. And also if you have any questions, then please tell me that in the comments so I can try to answer them. Have a good day, see you in the next video, bye bye.